Hello everyone. Welcome to ITPLExpert.com. So we are providing machine learning and deep learning projects at low cost. Okay. Today we are going to see project about most demanding project in deep learning technologies. The project named as a breast cancer detection, breast cancer diagnosis. So this is the project title which we are going to discuss today. This is a IEEE transaction paper which is published on 2023. You can see the dates also. It's a 2023 recent paper. This is the project we are going to discuss today. So this is the project breast cancer detection. But uh, you have to know that breast cancer detection means usually using uh, everyone using different images. Okay, but this project using ultrasound images. Why we are using ultrasound images means ultrasound images easy to produce okay it's very easy to produce instead of that ct image mri image when compared to those images ultrasound images can be easily reproduced for each and every uh, persons so for that pers uh, perceptive only we are using ultrasound images here which is for uh, available for low cost also so this is the uh, this is the project we are going to discuss today first of all you may know about the breast cancer so why we are giving importance to the breast cancer means so breast cancer was nowadays very common due to our lifestyle, the pregnancy details and everything. The breast cancer was very common nowadays. But the severity ratio, what is the meaning of severity ratio means? So out of 10 patients, out of 10 percent who are affecting breast cancer, nearly nine, 8 or 9 percent will be died. Okay. It's very hard to cure. Why? Because it's very hard to cure. So that is the main drawback of the breast cancer. The remaining cancer, most of the remaining cancer can be can be curable compared to the breast cancer. But breast cancer was very much uncurable. Okay, so that is the main drawback. So there is two type of tumor. So while you are going by the tumor, means there is two type of tumor. One is benign tumor, another one malignant tumor. So what is benign means? It is commonly uh, look like a tumor, but it won't spread to the other part of the, your breast. So it may, it was a tumor, but it won't spread. It will not spread to the other part of the blood or uh, breast. But what's a malignant tumor means? It will spread. It's also the same tumor, but it will spread. It will spread to your, even your blood, uh, other body parts also. That is the main drawback of malignant tumor. So we are going to predict whether the tumor is malignant or malignant uh, like that, malignant or not. Okay. Also, we are going to predict what type of CVRT we are having. For example, CVRT level 1, CVRT level 2, CVRT level 3. What type of, what is your current cancer stage? That also we are going to predict. So, this is the project based paper you can see. So, this is the algorithm they have used. So, directly I am going to explain the project PPT for you. So, I am going to open my project document. So, for this project report also available, PPT also available. I will show the project PPT. So this is the project PPT. So this is the project PPT we are using. So this is the modified title. Okay. So we are not taking same exact paper. We are going to modify this project as per the proposed system. We are introducing some innovative ideas here to overcome the drawback which is present in the paper okay we are going to overcome the drawbacks which is present in the paper to give the new idea so this is the project modified title novel method for breast cancer detection using super pixel and faster rcnn algorithm okay so we are going to use insta faster rcnm and can give lstm cnn uh, instead of uh, faster uh, rcnn we can use lstm cnn Descriptive algorithm details. So this is the title. In abstract, I mentioned that we are going to use 3D segmentation process here. What's the main process of 3D segmentation means? If you are using ultrasound images, means those images are not clearly visible. That is the main drawback. Okay, if you are uploading the ultrasound images, means it having huge noise. To overcome this, we are applying 3D segmentation, which will process the image into 3D. That then it will convert the tumor structure into 3D. That is the main advantage here. Then we are going to use Gabber filter for feature extraction as well as we are going to use CNN LSTM. LSTM CNN for classification of the tumor type, whether stage 1, stage 2, like that. We have to identify. So for that, we are going to use conversion neural network and long short time memory. Those algorithms we are combiningly using to make the hybrid network here. 
So in the introduction, we are giving that uh, breast cancer was a major cause for the woman's death. Okay, so nearly 30% uh, of worldwide woman population affected by the breast cancer, but they are considered they will consider that as a normal tumor. But you have developing this type of system means they can capture the photon they can upload whether they can check whether that is a normal tumor or breast tumor like that they can check that is a major advantage here we are taken some uh, literature surveys also for this project we are taken literature surveys also various literature surveys so segmentation algorithm existing segmentation algorithms normally using the 2d segmentation process but we are here using 3D super pixel segmentation for efficient noise cancellation and 3D processing. So overall existing system. In overall existing system, they are using normal neural network to detect the blood cancer process. Also, they are using 2D lesion classification. Lesion classification means the tumor classification. Okay, but very, that is very basic. You don't, you will get false detection happen. What's the meaning of false detection? Means they will give us the uh, binning for the malignant cancer or malignant for the winning cancer. Irregular results may happen. Okay. Why? Because it having very low accuracy. Okay. Cannot operate image with the less amount of contrast. If you are uploading ultrasound images means, if that image is having less contrast means, uh, very light images means, it won't process. That's the main drawback of the existing system. To overcome this, we are going to apply proposed system, which is not available in the paper. We are going to use proposed system here. What is the main proposed solution means we are going to use convolutional neural network and long short time memory. Combiningly we are using as a hybrid algorithm which will be used for the training as well as testing purpose. It will give better feature extraction result as well as better accuracy results. The overall block time of the project was shown here. So this is the data collection process. You have to collect various breast cancer types. Stage 1, stage 2, stage 3 like that you have to collect. Then you have to build the front end part. In back end machine learning part, you have to use the hybrid model, LSTM CNN model. Then you have to give the particular images. It will sell, extract the feature from that. From the extraction result, it will give the uh, how much risk you are having. Then visualization result. These are the block diagram of the project. To implement this, we are going to use Python. You can use 3.10 or 3.9, any version. The minimum you need 4 GB of RAM. 500 GB hard disk. Okay, basic system i3 is enough to run this project. Major advantage of project was early detection. You can detect stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four like that. So it's possible to detect at the earlier stage for better curation. Okay, that's the main advantage here. As well as you can use any type of images. CNN LSTM will give better results when compared to the other uh, algorithms. Main drawback was costly implementation. Why is costly implementation? I mean that we are using LSTM and CNN now. So that's why costly implementation. Okay. You can use any type of images here. So models means data set collection, data set, data preparation, model selection, analysis and prediction, accuracy and saving the train model. Those are the models we are going to use. We are given models description also for this project. Model description also given. We can check that. So in overall conclusion, so the model description and all after purchasing, you can see that. So overall conclusion of the project was, uh, so we have to investigate whether the tumor was normal tumor or uh, breast cancer tumor. The proposed system having better accuracy when compared to the other results, which is the most powerful tool which is implemented currently. So reference also given for this project, everything available here. For this project, reports are also available. So without wasting much further time, I'm going to run this project for you. The project implementation shown here. So this is the project data set we are taken four stages stage 0 1 2 3 4 four five stages we have taken so in stage 0 so this is normal there is no tumor this is the ultrasound images this is the ultrasound images of your blood uh, breast okay so there is no tumor stage 0 means stage 1 means winning type so this is the brain tumors so you can use normal breast images also. Even ultrasound images are normal breast images. You can use anything here. It will work perfectly. Okay. Same way as stage 2. We are given stage 2. This is the malignant type. So this is the ultrasound images which I mentioned earlier. You can use any sort of images. Normal images or any sort of images you can use here. Okay. This is the stage 3 part. Stage 3 of the breast cancer part. Okay. So now I am going to use 
I'm going to run the project. So to run this project, I'm going to use this is the uh, training algorithm. This is the testing classification. This is the uh, uh, what's uh, your to say? This is the segmentation part. This is the main algorithm I'm going to run. To run the main algorithm, I'm going to copy the project location. Then I have to open the Anaconda Navigator. From that, I'm going to open the project terminal. So I should use cd space project location and enter. I'm going to run python app.py. So I'm going to type python space app.py. This is the code I'm going to run. Let's type this. So after project compilation, uh, compilation, this is the project website. Just copy this website and paste it on the, any browser. So this is the project home page. So abstract given. You have to use login here. After login, I have to use admin, admin as a username and password. Just go use admin and admin as a username and password. Just to go to the segmentation part. Just upload the breast cancer images. I'm just using some images here. You can use any set of images. I'm just using these images. So just give my cluster uh, type. Just to submit. So you can see the segmentation process was proceeding here. The segmentation was started to proceed. So we should wait for the segmentation to complete. So overall it will take 10 steps. Okay. So after 10 steps, it will go for the next pages. So this is the next page. You can see this is the original image you have uploaded. This is the segmented images. You can go to the next step. In the next step, you can upload the same images. I'm just uploading the same breast images here. Just check for the cancer. It will check whether the image having cancer or not. See that the image which you uploaded having stage one type of cancer, the disease only having ducts. Okay, it's not spread still, but the tumor have been formed. Okay, so this is the stage one. Stage one means bending. Okay, it won't spread, but it's a tumor. I'm just uploading one more images here. So to, to detect the one more images, I'm going to back. So I'm going to upload the image again. So I'm going to check with another images. Just upload this. Just I'm giving the same Pi cluster just to submit. Same, you can see the 10 uh, iteration I have to complete. I'm waiting for my 10 iteration to complete. After 10 iteration, it will go for the next page automatically. So the next page came. So you can see this is the image you have uploaded. This is the segmented result. Go for the next page. So you can upload the same image here. So this is the image I uploaded. I can check for the cancer. So this is the stage one. Same, this image is also stain one. This is a non-invasive cancer. You can choose another image. I am just giving this image to check. I'm just taking this image. Just upload. You can check for the results. You can check any image from internet or even your own images. You can check everything. So the result already obtained. So the image which I uploaded was stage 3. The tumor have been found on the breast. But the cancer cell already spread to the one third part of your breast. As well as the tumor size will be around 2 to 5 centimeter already. Okay. This is the stage 3 result. I am uploading one more results here. One more images for your checking. 
you can check any images as i mentioned earlier there is no need to give only images present in the data set so this is the result zero there is no chance of breast cancer you are healthy so there is no tumor already so i'm going to check with another images so just choosing one more images to check so this also stage three okay so like this vice versa you can check every results here okay this is the thing you can check for breast cancer then go to the analysis part in analysis you can find the overall accuracy of the project so in this project you are getting accuracy around training accuracy around 98 percentage which is very much best compared to the current systems as well as your training testing accuracy will be 97 so you are getting 98 to 97 percent accuracy while testing and training so this is the major features cost for the breast cancer so due to your age uh, your systolic blood pressure diastolic blood pressure then your genetic you are getting this type of blood, uh, breast uh, cancer okay uh, to get this project please approach our website iwexpert.com okay you can contact us for any type of help during your project okay we do provide complete project at best price okay to get uh, to know about more projects or innovative concepts please subscribe our youtube channel we do give the more projects in current times okay thank you thank you for reviewing this video